hi friends welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing if you're new here you're highly welcome to this channel my name is elizabeth and if you are a returning subscriber welcome thank you for always coming back to watch my videos <laughs> that lately it has been difficult to get a date i know you recently got denied i understand how heartbreaking it is and i understand how difficult it is for you especially when you have plans when you've planned that you want to be in school for this period of years and you want to be over and you want, i understand all of that I understand that it can be heartbreaking when your plans are not going accordingly i can totally relate with you because i've been in your show before i know how it feels and to be honest it was difficult i was once denied and got my visa on the second trial i suffered on getting a date emergency and all of those stuff so i totally understand how you feel but i have an advice for you and i want you to listen carefully and i want you to take my advice first of all i will tell you not to give up if you were denied do not give up try again but what i want you to note is that i don't want you to try immediately you were denied today don't go applying for another visa tomorrow remember there was a reason why you were denied and sometimes you may not be able to identify that reason in a week it is important for you to identify that reason before applying again i know you want to go to school i know you have your plans but do you want to make the same mistake? Do you understand? So try to calm down. I know how heartbreaking it is. I know the feeling like I want to try again immediately. Just calm down. There was a reason why you were deni denied. Try to reflect on that reason. Try to know the reason. Okay? Think about the way you answered your questions. It probably because of the way you answered the questions. Probably you didn't give the right answer to this question. Try to practice. And when you are now sure you can answer these questions properly, then you apply for your visa again. It's very possible that it was because of your financial capability. This time around, try to make sure that you have the uh, right amount to finance your education. You can even use this gap to look for scholarships or funding, any type of funding at all. It could be an assistantship, a fellowship, a scholarship. Use that time. Don't rush and go back to reapply. Now, if you are not getting visa date, I will advise you to apply for an emergency date, what they call expedite date or something, yeah? Try to apply for that. But before you apply for that, make sure you have read the guidelines to applying for an emergency date. There are guidelines. Make sure you follow the guidelines. Make sure you have the right documentation. Make sure whatever reason you are giving is a correct reason. And when you are writing your reason for emergency dates, make sure you include your resumption date, your orientation date. Make sure all of this are stated clearly. Follow the guidelines. Most of the times, people get rejected on emergency dates because they do not follow the guidelines. That's an opportunity for you to get a date. You don't want to miss it. So please follow the guidelines. Go to their website and read it. Okay? Understand that everything is so stressful right now. You are not even thinking straight. Calm down. It will be fine. Trust me. But just make sure you go according to their rules. Okay? One more advice I have for you both. Those guys who are not getting dates and those who have recently been denied please contact your school is it the graduate school or um, your department let them know about the situation let them know what is going on so that you do not lose your admission sometimes they will tell you to defer your admission or they'll give you the best suggestion sometimes they will tell you you can start this program online in your home country Please do not fail to let them know what is going on. Carry them along. They will give you the best advice so that you do not lose your admission that you, you, you suffered to get, okay? So just let them know that this is what is going on. 
they will always assist you they will give you the best advice the worst is no but you tried okay so let them know what is going on please carry them along guys i know this is tough like i said earlier on but do not give up if you are christian like me you will know that at the right time god makes everything come with ease and it comes beautifully don't worry too much your plans might not be working out right now according to the way you want but just know that there's always something good something greater waiting for you ahead okay just put it to the lord in prayer and i'm sure with time everything is going to be beautiful so guys we've come to the end of today's video i hope this video was useful for you i hope you will take my advice i mean that's an advice you don't necessarily have to take it but i feel that's a good advice that you should take thank you for watching today's video if you have any question let me know in the comment section i will try my best to answer you like i always do yes please do not forget to subscribe to this channel do not like forget to like the video as well and do not forget to share it to your friends and people you feel will be interested in this video see you guys in my next video bye